Hello everybody, I am Jenny the Artsy Rose and welcome back to Jack's Story. And, uh, well, Jack's uh, seasonal lover spinoff. You know, his hair kind of reminds me of, uh, his hair makes me think of Finian's because it's red and he has, he has hairpins. He has a lot of them. He really has a lot of them. What's up with guys wearing hairpins in real? What's up with anime guys wearing hairpins? What's, how is it a, that's very pretty. I almost, I need one more item, I need one more item, and the item is, uh, the purse for Raymond's story. I don't know how soon I'll get back to Raymond's deal, uh, Raymond's main story, I'll have to, I'd like to be more prepared than I was before our, before the love challenge occurred. <sighs> <sighs> I really want to get these stories before Christmas or before the last before the last day before December 26th. Oh boy. I'm going to get through Tartarus. I'm going to get through Tartarus. I shall pass through the love challenges of Tartarus. <laughs> By the way, I have a little announcement to make right after nice background. Nozomi. Nozomi. Interesting name. Um, at the start of January, I am going to do the Nifelheim and Wonderland spinoff for, for the Shelby Date Nifelheim game. And the people that I will do will be... The stories that I'm going to be playing through are Philippe's. I think I already have some of his videos up, so he's kind of already got a head start, and I want to finish his since I kind of started his. And then after that, I shall do Skeletonos, Jones, and <clears throat> I'm leaving the last one a surprise for you all, just to well, just because I can. Just because I can keep him a surprise. Now let's see. Here we are. Now I have all the items that I need for for the stories that I need, for the spinoffs that I need, and that gladdens me to no end. <clears throat> are you still cold? Oh. She's cute! Look at her! Look at this! Look at this! She's adorable! I have a friend! Alright, now I am more than ready to rock and roll. <laughs> Ahem. Now, let's get this over with. Seasonal Lover, Chapter 2. Leaving the snow-peaked road, leaving the snow-packed road, we come to a small shack at the edge of the village. Hello! Sorry to intrude! Wait, Jack! As Jack forces his way inside, I follow after him, flustered. You can't just go into people's houses like that! I think this is his home. It's okay, this hut was my secret hiding place when I was a kid. Secret hiding place? Yeah, the place li yeah, the person living here left, and it was completely empty, so I used it. Really? Besides, while I was holding the orb, I was thinking about wanting to be alone with you to play in the snow. So, I don't think there's anyone here in the village. Now that you mention it, no one was in the store- no one was in the stores either. It's like a- it's, it's- it's like a ghost town. Okay, that's creepy. It looks so real. I completely forgot that this is a world created by the war by the Orb of Seasons. Everything looks and feels so real. It's hard to believe that it's magic. 
I gain a new appreciation for Humphrey's talents. Yeah. You did get super cold after all. Hmm? Hmm? Jack stretches out his hands and hugs me. <laughs> you were so warm as usual, Jack. Maybe it's just because my heart's pounding so hard, hugging you like this. You can hear it, right? I can hear his heartbeat as he presses against me. His heart is pounding like a drum, and my heart seems like it might seem magic. But if we stay like this, we won't be able to play outside in the snow. Hmm. That's true. It'd be nice if we had something to keep us warm. Picture! No! No! Don't do this to me! Oh. Oh, got a great idea! He says, cheerfully letting me go. What is it? Uh, I think the kitchen was over here. <laughs> An ingredient. Yeah, if I use all of this, I bet I can make something delicious. <laughs> uh, well, food isn't ever a, a bad thing. Oh, holy cow. I, oh boy. <sighs> is this going to be a two-part video? I hope not. I want to get this in one go. Jack wanders around the shack, putting ingredients on the table. What are you making? You'll just have to see when it's done. I'm making some delicious food to warm you up. Thanks, I'm really looking forward to seeing what you make. Yeah, leave it to me. He picks up a knife and starts making that peculiar expression that he gets when he cooks. Gazing at him, I wait for Jack to finish. The shack is filled with a sour, no, with a sour sweet aroma. It seems like Jack made me some sweets. It's done. I've never seen something like this before. Is that an apple? Yeah, it's called a fried apple. Usually you bake the whole thing in an oven. There isn't an oven here. There isn't an oven here though. So I, impro so I improvise and use a frying pan instead. He cuts open the apple into bite-sized pieces. It's hot, so I'll cool it down so you won't burn yourself. I can eat by myself, you know. Don't say that. Say, ah. <laughs> he brings the fork to my face. Ah. I open my mouth, as I'm told, and the baked sticky apple enters my mouth. The tart apple, along with the scent of butter and spices, fills my mouth. How is it? It's kind of a nostalgic flavor. It's really good. Right? I need the... I'd eat these a lot in the winter when I was a kid. Now, one more bite. Wait, how about I feed you this time? Really? <laughs> this is a special trip after all. Aw, I'd welcome it any time though. <laughs> Come on, if we don't do it quickly, the fried apple's going to get cold, isn't it? Oh, okay. Ah! Uh... <laughs> he energetically opens his mouth and I bring a bite of the apple to him. <sighs> He's cute. <laughs> After swallowing it, he sexually licks his lips. Oh dear. That casual gesture has my heart racing. Just as I thought, it's even more delicious when you feed it to me. That doesn't, that doesn't logically add Wait, Mina, what's wrong? Your face is bright red. Nothing? Aw, are you still cold? Aw. He gently caresses my face. Far from being cold, my cheeks are burning hot. <laughs> Seems like you've warmed up. Yeah, thanks to the fried apples you made for me. I try to hide my loudly beating heart with a smile. But it is true that my frozen body is feeling better thanks to Jack's cooking. Okay, now when you're done eating, let's get... Now when you're done eating, let's go play in the snow. For real this time. It'd be a waste to, la to laze around here for the rest of the time. Yeah, let's do that. I quickly stuff my cheeks. I quickly stuff my cheeks with a fried apple, and we head back out into the snow-covered world. Holding Jack's hand, we come to the plaza at the edge of the village. The coldness I felt earlier has now dissipated by a lot. 
Love me now as soon as you get cold, okay, Mina? Thanks. Don't worry about me. I'm fine. Really? Remember, I'll warm you up whenever you get cold. Jack is carefully hugging me even outside. His powerful arms trap me completely. We can't play in the snow like this, you know. We can't play in the snow like this, you know. But I'm just so happy that I can play outside with you after so long. <laughs> I feel the same way. Hey, Jack. What do you want to do in the snow? Make a snowman, of course. Do you want to build a snowman? <laughs> I had to. Don't hate me for this. He lets me go and makes a small shovel out of the out of the bucket he he brought, beaming at me. I expected as much. Ah! Ah! Uh, well, everyone, I'm sorry to say this, but I'm gonna have to end the video here. Please don't hate me for this. I am Jandy the Artsy Rose, and I shall see you all in the next video. Goodbye. I'll have the next video by today.